What's going on YouTube? This is what we Josh you, and this is a pretty exciting video because I love my thermal imaging cameras. They're fantastic. And this is a new one. This is a brand new release, and this is supposedly very high quality. And I am always looking for something that looks a little bit sharper for videos. You know, I don't really want to use something that's grainy and not great quality. I want to show you guys how hot something gets, and I want to be able to show you that in the highest quality possible so if you go back we have made videos on the p2 and the p2 pro i actually gifted the p2 to my dad and he loves it because he actually lives fully off grid he has enough solar and enough batteries to literally run his air conditioner and everything without any grid power at all and he loves the fact that he can use these to see how hot his like cables and stuff is and anyways this is the newest model, it's the P3, and it's all OS. Before you had to choose if you got the Lightning version or the USB-C version, and some worked with only Android, some worked with Apple. This one works with both. So this is Thermal Master, and on the back here it says P3, Android and iOS. Thermal camera, tech support, help center, and then we have the UPC, and we have some like listings and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. This won't be a long video, hopefully. <laughs> Famous last words. Because it's kind of simple. It's just a thermal camera that plugs in the bottom of your phone. So you can extend your warranty. You've got a quick start guide that's like literally a little Bible here. This is crazy. I know there's like different languages and you have to retype everything. And this is super duper nice to see. Oh my gosh. Oh my freaking gosh. This is very nice to see. Because my P2 had a little case... I put it on my keychain. I had a thermal imaging camera everywhere I went. My P2 Pro did not, and I actually struggled with keeping it safe. So this is going to solve that by having its own little case. And this is super cool, look at this. You have an extension cable to extend the video signal. So say you're, you need to reach somewhere you know, further away than what your phone can, or like you wanna video yourself or something, you can, use this extension which has a little adapter on it so boom USB A to extend it to you that's cool all right and then taking a look we've got that's super well packaged absolutely love that all right taking a look at the little thing here it's got a hook you can hook it to your keychain or you can hook it to whatever your backpack I don't know whatever you want this is super nice to see something to keep it protected because that is a unit compared to the let me get my P2 Pro so this is my P2 Pro, and it has the little macro thing on it. You can put it on or take it off. This is a unit compared to that. Oh my gosh, oh my freaking gosh. You actually get another adapter in the box. So if you have an older iPhone, you can use this and still connect that older iPhone and then connect this up. So you can use this with that older iPhone 14, 13, 12, whatever. That's freaking cool. And then when you do upgrade, you can take this off and just stick it here in the case. That way you don't lose it. All right, taking a look at the unit, it has a sticker on the bottom of it that's already coming off. Oh, oh, it's just a, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and then we have Thermal Master logo there. And then we have the camera. We have the connection to the phone. And then we have a focus ring. So now, which it goes all the way to the right, and then it goes all the way to the left. Wow, that's a lot of range there. That's a lot of range. All right, so on our iPhone 16 Pro here, we're going to connect this up. And it says it would like to access the camera, allow, and then check this out. That's freaking cool, man. We can come in here and we can change. I always choose iron and red. That's just my favorite view. And nothing is in focus. Everything is completely out of focus right now. So we're working on a video with these two right here. And this one's already a little bit warm. So I'm going to point this at it. And it's definitely out of focus. Let me just record the screen. All right. So I can take this little knob and I can rotate it and I can keep going until 
Oh, yeah. We get the focus that we need or want. That's cool. And this one's a little bit hotter, it seems. 40. Yeah. This one's a little bit hotter. And so now I'm out of focus. Let me turn it to the right. And now it's in focus. So the fact that you can control the focus is super freaking cool. And the quality on this looks great so far. I'm definitely more of a fan of auto. And then the main app here. Oh, it says there's a update. New version. The upgrade may fail. You can replug in, in. So update. And then new version. Update. Confirm. Dude, that's super freaking cool. Oh, man. It's got a freaking firmware update. All right. So it's leaving the bootloader mode and reconnecting. Cool, cool. Well, that was super neat. I've never had a firmware update on one of these before. Okay, so maybe some other stuff has an update. New version. All right, this is actually taking a few minutes. So if you're like me, you get a little bit worried because this has been a few minutes and it's still saying upgrading in process, do not exit. Okay, I was actually about to unplug it, literally just about to unplug it and just thinking it wasn't actually doing anything, but it clearly eventually did something. And now it's not prompting me that there's an update. There we go. So mine says software 108 and firmware 2.17. And you can change it between Celsius and Fahrenheit, depending on which one you're used to. And even Kelvin. You can do the time and you can add a watermark, which I don't mind because I like supporting the company. And when I show the video, people know that it's something that Thermal Master made. So I like having the watermark and having the time helps me sync it to the video. So leaving back here, we can see that it's been several minutes and now the charge has slowed down. And then now we're in focus. And now we're in focus on that one. What I'm gonna do now is disconnect it. What I'm gonna do now is connect it to my Android. And it's gonna ask if it can launch the app and ask if I wanna make it always launch with the app. And we can go to settings here. And it says the software is 1.10.2, shows Android. Interestingly, it says 2.17 which actually I think it was the same as before on iPhone. And we have a split screen option here. And we can also log into an account. And just like before, we can click on camera. And since we're on a different type of device, we have to kind of set it up the way we want it again with iron red. And what I'm gonna do now is basically record video and insert it into this video. All right, so we're kind of far back now. We can see where all the heat is, but is it all in focus? I don't know, let's adjust the dial. It's all out of focus and we'll turn it until things look good. That's about what I would think right there. So 101 degrees Fahrenheit and we can get right up on it and we can turn the dial and we can get, oh, that's so good. That's so good. Oh, I love this little dial. And now I'm looking at the charger and that's pretty cool. But let's see, is that the most focus? So we're out of focus for sure. Turn the dial until right about there. And boom, there you go. You can see the temperature of this. And if I remove the little top part, there you go. We're at 130 degrees Fahrenheit. And the cool thing is what I've done with it, I just disconnect it and put it in its little case here. And now it's protected. And I can put this in my pocket. I can throw this in my book bag. I can put this wherever I want to put it. I don't have to worry about it being damaged because it has a nice little carrying case. And we can make sure that we don't f forget this cable as well by folding it up. You could probably do it neater than I did it, but now we have that cable and it's inside the little case there. You might want to get it away from this part, which there we go. Now it's more to the right there. And now it's literally the same exact thing as not having the cable in there at all. Except I think the cable adds a huge advantage because you can have it much further away from the phone instead of connected directly to the phone. This is so freaking cool. Like, look at this. 
you can see like how long these cars have been sitting here for. It's currently midnight. The ground is still a little hot. But if you look, oh look, that car's got like glowing red. So it was ran not too long ago. And then look at this. This is definitely something that recently was ran. Oh yeah, I'm just taking a look down here. That one, nothing for a little bit. That one, nothing for a little bit. And then this one, oh yeah. This one definitely has some heat on it. This one's definitely been ran recently. And this one has not. And then here's my car. You can see that it was recently ran. And there's quite a bit of heat left from running it about two hours ago, maybe an hour, hour and a half ago. And this one right here next to mine, yeah. What about my wife's truck? Let's see if she went anywhere. Oh, look at that. You can tell that she definitely has went somewhere today. And this little Nissan here, no, nope. Definitely, definitely. That, that one's been a minute, it's been a little while. That one, not recently. I would say a few hours. Definitely this one, a couple hours or so. This one's cold, look at that. <laughs> this one definitely went somewhere recently. Oh yeah, oh yeah, she's fresh. She just got turned off. And the cool thing is you can just like pan around and see all the cars. Let's see which one has been ran, <laughs> which one has it? I love having a little thermal gun here. Look, there's a car coming to my left right now. Oh yeah, see, look at that. Perfect. Those tires are so red, it's crazy. Having a thermal gun is so cool. Hmm. Which one of these cars went somewhere recently? <laughs> gotcha. All right, last little clip. This is so cool. Almost all these cars are facing the opposite way. Like they just pulled in. You can get a pretty good idea of most of them except one of them that just pulled in down there. Super, oh, that's the car from, oh, that's the car from earlier. All right, if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. It also helps the YouTube algorithm a lot, and it's gonna push this video towards more people's recommendations, so they'll get a chance to see it. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I am most active on my YouTube community. I am most active on my YouTube community page. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out.